Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my most favorite tools that I use when I work on my projects. I get this question very, very often about what are some of my favorite tools? What do you like using? What do you keep using over and over? So I just pulled some of my most favorite items and I'm going to share them with you today. So the first thing I wanted to tell you about are these Clover Amore hooks. And I'm going to be doing a more extensive review on these soon, but these are, um, I have all the sizes. I just grabbed a few. They're colorful, so they're, they're color coded. Each size is a different color. They have a satiny, smooth hook top and a rubbery ergonomic handle. So these are really, really wonderful to work with. I also love to use these clover hooks too. These have a plastic handle, but a thumb grip that is rubbery. And these also have a very smooth satiny top. These are the two hooks, uh, types of hooks that I use the most when I'm making my projects. And you'll see these appear a lot in my video tutorials. I also use my Knit Picks wooden hook a lot. I only have this style hook in the nine millimeter, but I use it all the time. It has a wonderful feel. Um, it's beautiful, a beautiful wood, and it um, has a nice um, hook on there that really gets into that bulky yarn when I'm working with my bulky yarn projects. So this hook is by Knit Picks. I'm going to provide a link at the bottom of this video in the information section of where to find every single thing I'm talking about in this video. For my scissors, you'll probably see these appear in my videos a lot. These are just little embroidery scissors and I really love using these to snip my yarn. Um, I got these online years and years ago. Um, you can find these. I see them with gold handles. Um, don't really see a lot of these really colorful ones but I use my embroidery scissors a whole lot for snipping little pieces of yarn. When I need to do a heftier project with my scissors, such as making a pom-pom or something like that, where I'm, or cutting fringe, where I'm cutting a lot more yarn all at once, I use these. These are by Fiskars. Uh, these are really wonderful. They're comfortable in the hand, and they're very smooth, and they're very sharp, even though I've had them for a very long time. And I like that they're small and portable because I like to keep um, my tools in a zippy top bag. I have lots of these. I have some just for hooks, some just for pens, um, some just for notions. So I keep a whole bunch of these in a tote bag, but these are very nice, and they fit very nicely in some of these zip top bags. I also really love and use a lot retractable tape measures. And these are very inexpensive. You can find them in the sewing aisle of um, a department store in the craft store. And um, all they do is they pull out and they have um, centimeters on one side, inches on the other, and you push this center button and it retracts. So this is um, a really nice tool to have and it's tiny. It doesn't take up hardly any space. You just throw it in your tote bag and measure things very quickly. And mine, I believe, we can check this here. Mine goes up to, whoops, I keep pushing the button and it's retracting on me. Mine goes up to 60 inches. So um, you can measure something pretty long with this as well. The needles that I most often and uh, are my favorites are, I use these for teeny tiny little beads. I use um, the DMC beading beads. These are really tiny to get into the smallest beads. Um, for larger beads uh, with a uh, needle head that's large enough to fit a thin piece of yarn through, this is uh, a cross stitch needle. I use this a lot to um, string beads. And I have a bead over here, I'll just grab one to string beads onto a project. So you can see the bead passes very easily through this needle. And you can still get a little uh, thinner piece of yarn through that. I really enjoy using metal tapestry needles. This is a large one for a thick piece of yarn. You can see that. You can fit a nice thick piece of yarn through there. And this is one I use, uh, this is a smaller one for smaller yarn. And I really love metal needles. I don't, whoops, I don't like when my needles 
have any bend to them. If you do prefer a needle that has a little flex to it, try a plastic needle. Um, but I really like these really sturdy metal needles to kind of get into all those stitches when I'm weaving in my ends or seaming something. When I use stitch markers, I don't use them a whole lot, but when I do use them, I have two things that I love to use. One is uh, these clover stitch markers. They're almost like little plastic safety pins, and you can take them on and off very easily, just like that. And um, I think the colors are really pretty. They're kind of retro. And um, they come in a pack. They come in a, a little... Well, this is a different box, but I have a whole bunch of things in here right now, but they come in a little um, case. So you get a whole set of them and they're inexpensive. These are by Clover. I also use uh, binder rings. You can find these in the office supply store and they just um, open up like this. You can uh, use them um, as a stitch marker as well. And they're very, very sturdy and they close just like that. They have a little hinge on them. And last but not least, and I use a lot of other tools. These are just some of my favorites that I pulled. Last but not least, I am a huge fan of the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. I have a whole bunch of these. I have them in pretty much any imaginable color. And I love to use them when I am um, writing things down. I love to color code things. These are just a lot of fun. I like to make things fun. And um, I also have lots of bright highlighters. So when I'm writing a pattern or reading a pattern or going through one of my patterns, I like to color code things. These are by Bic, Bic Brightliner, in case you're wondering. But I love to color code things and I just really have fun with my pens. Um, when you're writing patterns and reading patterns and things, it's good to kind of differentiate things and make it fun. So those are some of my favorite tools. I hope this helps you um, if you're looking for certain things out there. And um, one more thing I wanted to share. I talked about the Clover Amore hooks. And the smaller sizes have a metal top. I recently discovered the, the larger hooks for thicker yarn and bigger projects. And um, their handles come in neon colors and they have a plastic top and that keeps it nice and lightweight. But I wanted to also mention those just as a side note that um, they look, they have the same shape handle, but the tops are a little bit different. But I've been really, really, really enjoying these. My um, latest video, I'm using one of these as well and I really enjoyed using it. So. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this maybe exposed you to some products that you may, um, or some tools that you may uh, be wanting to try. But, and I know a lot of you have been asking me about this for a long, long time. So I figured I'd finally uh, share some of these items with you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.